and too deep, you don't want to rip that drywall paper off. And luckily here, Mr. Sparky actually saved the drywall piece for me. That really does help because I was able to take that piece to Home Depot and get a color match. Next, you're going to want to get your utility blade and clean out the seams around the patch. Just be careful when using your knife, you don't want to cut yourself. And now the patch is prepped and ready for the hot mud. I recommend you get a little bit of this Easy Sand 5 hot mud. You can also use joint compound, but it's going to take forever to dry. All you have to do is just add a little bit of water. And once you're done mixing, go ahead and fill all the seams around the patch. Make sure you really push the hot mud into the seams, that way everything's filled. Next, go ahead and apply this Fiber Fuse tape over the seams. You can also use mesh tape or paper tape. What this is going to do is that it's just going to help strengthen the patch. After all that, go ahead and mix up a little bit more hot mud and apply it over the patch. I always say you want to apply the mud like if you're spreading the Nutella on your toast. And after you apply the first coat, let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then you can go ahead and apply the second coat, but just make sure that your second coat's not too thick. Remember, you don't want it to look bumpy. And now just let it set for another 10 to 15 minutes. Grab a wet rag and wipe around the edge of the patch.